Welcome to an introduction to proof using properties of equality. The goal is to solve an equation to illustrate a two column proof. Normally when we solve equations, we don't justify each step of the process. However, we could. Justifying each step is an important part of a formal proof. So to introduce the idea of a two column proof in geometry, we will solve an equation and justify each step with the appropriate property of equality. Let's go ahead and start by reviewing the properties of equality. We won't go through all of these, but you may want to pause the video to take a look at each of these properties, just in case you're not familiar with the names of these, even though you've used these over and over again to solve different types of equations. Let's take a look at our two column proof. Here we want to solve the given equation and justify each step in a two column format. So in a two column proof, we normally have our steps or procedures on the left and then our reasons or justifications on the right. And to keep things organized, it's often helpful to number each step and each reason. So number one would be the given equation. So over here on the right, we'll just say given. Now if we were going to solve this equation, the next step would be to distribute the five. So let's go ahead and do that and then we'll write the justification or reason on the right. So if we distribute, we would have 10x minus 20 plus 36 equals 6x plus 40. And our justification would be the distributive property of equality. And I'm just going to write the distributive property. The next step would probably be to combine these like terms here. So let's go ahead and do that. That'll be step three. So we'll have 10x. This would be plus 16 equals 6x plus 40. And the justification or reason would be combining like terms. The next step, we probably want to get x on one side of the equation. And by habit, it's nice to have the variable on the left side of the equation. So in order to eliminate this positive 6x, we'd have to subtract 6x on both sides. Well, if we subtract 6x from 10x, we would have 4x and then plus 16 equals 40. So what we did here is we subtracted 6x on both sides of the equation, so our justification is the subtraction property of equality. Now to isolate this x, the next step would be to subtract 16 on both sides. That would give us 4x equals 24. So justification is the same reason as number four, the subtraction property of equality. And then for step six, I'm gonna go ahead and show a little bit of work here. We're gonna divide both sides by four. And the justification is the division property of equality. And our last step is just to simplify. So we would have x equals six. And so our justification will be just simplification or simplify. Now the new part about this was not solving the equation. The new part is developing the idea of a two column proof, which includes justification for each step. And this is how we'll go about setting up geometric proofs throughout the remainder of the course. So in the next video, we'll take a look at proofs using geometric topics. I hope you found this intro helpful. Thank you for watching.